Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Aerosmith uh, issue number one now. Not Aerosmith the band, but Aerosmith the comic uh, by Image Comics. Um, I love this cover. Um, I just, this is a, a variant cover and I like it very much uh, of all of the other variant covers or normal covers because it tells a story. Uh, this is basically set in World War I and with magic. And uh, we see this, this guy here and, and this. Yeah, what 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 is it? <laughs> I don't know, uh, but it, it seems that he is writing maybe you know a journal or a love letter to his to his to his wife. Uh, I don't know, but it's um, this is a really nice cover. I also love uh, the fact that it's um, it says an image comics publication instead of you know this image logo that's just in here. And also the three ninety nine um, cents a, a copy. Uh, Small little details. I, I like that very much. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a very nice cover. So what is it? Um, I think I describe it as Harry Potter and World War One, stuff like that. And um, this is the second time that I read this comic. Now, why? Uh, because when I first read it a couple of days ago, I didn't like it, um, and this, the reason for that is that I hoped that it would be different than what it actually is. And so I read it again, and I must say I appreciate it now a little bit more because, um, you know, maybe because I realized that I had to look at this comic, what it is, instead of what I wanted. And you can apply that to a lot of other comics, but especially this one, um, I wanted to do the, I wanted to 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 have this comic, you know, the direction into a, to go to into another way. But now that I read it, I said, okay, yeah, I, I see where you were going with it. Um, so that's fine. It doesn't mean it's a really good comic. Uh, well, that's too early to tell because this is a f issue number one and most issue number ones is just, you know, setting up the story and basic storytelling. Um, but uh, also this is volume two. Uh, I don't have volume one. Uh, so I miss a lot of information who these characters are actually are, and I cannot tell you about it. Uh, I don't think this is also a continuation. I believe this is a standalone story, so probably a little bit more accessible than, you know, you have to read volume one and now the story continues. That's not the case. Um, but, you know, if you want to know the characters, that's probably better if you read volume one, I guess. Uh, so, without further ado, because I'm not talking uh, for now um, about that, let's dive in. So, we see, uh, well, the main protagonist is this guy called Fletch, which is the most laughable name in uh, all of comics, I guess. And Fletch is a, um, yeah, how much you say, a, a young airman, that's why what, what they call it. So... This is in, uh, set in World War I, <clears throat> but in a fantasy setting. It's called 1916. And so he just wakes up and he says, okay, we, we are just doing our, our recons. We fight bad guys. We survive. They go to bed. They wake up. They eat. They sleep. Repeat. Something like that. Uh, but at least the coffee is nice, he says. <clears throat> so um, he's going to the mess with the other... Airman, let's let's call him that, and um, so he talks with uh, with the uh, with his buddies or with his group, and um, he says, "What's the good word, Virge? That's probably his name. He says, "The war is over. Prussia, with a P, um, surrenders unconditionally, and we off to Lusitania to lull on the beach. Lull on the beach. What's that?" With the entire nursing corps. Well, that sounds good. Um, so they are getting um, briefed by, uh, by, I believe, the captain. So, and I said, okay, wait a minute. Why did they call them Prussia with a P? So is this because they don't want to offend anyone, but they still use that name? Well, I'm going to, well, there's not really an explanation, but, I'm, but I was surprised that it wasn't actually Russians they were talking about. So, um so this captain says, okay, you need to go to the front line and do a recon. And um, 
so they are running, they do some kind of incantation, and it seems that these these things on their boots um, respond to that spell, and they're getting lifted in the air. And then the dragons, which are sentient, um, are towing them to um, that location while they are floating in the air. Um, and you can see that, you know, all these dragons have this same color as the things on their boots, you know, orange and red and blue and green, etc. So when I first s s um, saw this and I said, oh no, this is, this is some, <laughs> some, how do you say, uh, ma magic comics for kids? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, it looks a little bit, eh, I don't know, you know, just, that's why I say Harry Potter. I mean, um, when I first saw Harry Potter, I, I was still an old guy or older guy, and I enjoyed it, but I, it was clearly aimed to a younger audience. Um, but the fan base of Harry Potter was massive, still is. And um, so I, I said, oh, okay, you know, soldiers, Harry Potter stuff, I don't know, or, you know? And then, um, but I can appreciate more where this is going. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit what I'm, what, what's in this comic. So um, they go to the front lines and um, and they are f flying above enemy lines. And these are the enemies here. So they have swords and bows with magic bolts, I believe. So they attack the enemy immediately. So yeah, there's, there's no real uh, good or evil. They are just people at war. And that's... Uh, so I thought, okay, so these are the Prussians, but then I read this this dialogue and it says, oh, wait a minute, that's that's German. So the Prussians with a P are actually Germans. <laughs> well, why make it so confused? Um, so confusing. So these guys have a battle and they, they pick their opponents. And um, so Fletcher is in combat with this guy and he um, clips him and uh, he, he believe his, his, his neck is you know, cut open and he falls to his death. But then out of nowhere, uh, Fletch is getting attacked, but also his his dragon companion called Hilda. And um, so they are, they are, how do you say, falling down and he uses another spell to um, float uh, or, you know, like, like a leaf in the wind, you know, that goes down very slowly. So they're descending to earth and uh, he is worries about Hilda because well, it seems that these have a close bond. I believe all these flyers have a close bond to their dragons. I believe. And um, we go now to the past. Six weeks earlier, I'm too precise. And, um, oh, by the way, this is by, um, I forgot. The writer is Kurt, K uh, Kurt Busiek. And the artist is uh, Carlos Pacheco. And you probably know him from the Fantastic Four, Avengers Forever, so, uh, Avengers Forever Final Crisis, etc. Uh, he's a really, really good artist. And you can show it because it's a beautiful background. And uh, I love my backgrounds. <laughs> and this is set in um, London Albion, six weeks earlier. So it seems that the uh, soldiers cannot or uh, shouldn't fight day after day after day after day. It's, that's not really healthy. And it's very demoralizing. So uh, it seems that they are rotating um, once in a while, and that means they have normal jobs in 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 a in their in their own area in the safe area. And um, Fletcher, or Fletch, uh, is 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 a post guy. You know, he's a mailman, so he's delivering post, etc. And then he is getting greeted by uh, his 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 buddy, who is also walking there and doing jobs called drum roll please drum roll drum roll <laughs> it's called rocky yeah because this guy is made of rock and he's a troll so they call him rocky because that's a very original cool not very stupid name at all uh, for a guy that made of rock i mean imagine if there is some human walking there and somebody calls you flashy you know, it's, it's, come on. Anyway, um, I believe uh, also Fletch is a little bit of a doofus. He's a, he's a good guy, but uh, he comes over as, as a, you know, he's young. Let's, let's leave it at that. 
And, and that's not a bad thing, by the way, but, um, you know, you can see it. <laughs> I don't know. I just want my, my, my comments a little bit more mature, I guess, instead of, hey, hello. Uh, but, you know, I'm, a, I, 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 I'm sorry. That's probably not the case here, but um, I'm a little bit, um, how do you say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm judging. I'm judging. That I shouldn't do that. Um, Fletch is a good guy. So moving on, so um, but <laughs> Rocky also talks in in a in a specific way, like Rocky not whoop around in the air like you birdie mans. Rocky slow on ground like lump get blamed by another grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why can't these people not talk normal? Okay, okay, well, maybe it's because they are trolls. Anyway, so they are um, they are catching up, and uh, oh no, we have some racism in here. Uh, so this guy says, uh, "Let's go into this bar," and, and and Rocky says, "I don't know, that's not really a good idea." So this bartender says, "Hey, um, uh, we don't serve trolls drinks in here," and uh, but uh, Flat says, uh, "Well, uh, I'm paying for it, so give me the largest big of ten cards with with booze that you got and and." The, in a pot of coffee and etc. So they are sitting and they are reminiscing about the past. Um, and uh, oh, oh, by the way, we see here Hilda, you know, drinking the blood of a or munching on a mouse. That's not really disturbing at all. Uh, <laughs> so there's probably some little bit more chill stuff that uh, that I believe it was in the first place here. I, I totally missed that. Um, and uh, yeah, so they're rem reminiscing about the past, about probably things that happened in the, in the in volume one, and they talk about um, Fletcher's love interest, and in that he doesn't see her, and she is in Verdun now, and they write, but the, there's a little bit of bad contact between them, or they don't write much anymore, and she's pr probably very busy. But then he realized there is no talking in this whole cafe, and why is that? Well. Um, all these people says, well, they are not happy that there's a troll in here. And he says, uh, this, this particular group of soldiers says, you know, lad, there's trolls pubs down the Limehouse, down in Limehouse, I think. But they, this ain't no troll pub, you follow? And then Flatch immediately defenses his buddy. And, you know, I get that. Yeah. And he's getting he's getting in the face of this, this guy. And he is, um, they are still polite until this particular scene here. So uh, I'm having a drink with an old friend. Um, I'm saying, lad, that there's a place trolls are welcome. Um, and then he says something stupid or inf offensive against Fletch. And then Fletch, yeah, not punches him, but throws him into, um, I don't know, into, into, into the table. And, well, that's going to start a fight. But then before the fight is happening, uh, Rocky comes and he says... Uh, well, <laughs> also this dragon like, with his flaming mouth. He says, the fight he is done. You follow me? You follow me? He says, yeah, 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 I, I, I follow you. <laughs> so they are going outside and, 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 and Fletch says, I probably should have picked a more welcome place. huh?" Well, I, I don't know, Fletch. I mean, you know, there is some stuff going on and, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you are agree with uh, what's happening in this world with, when it comes to racism at all. This is what, how the world is, uh, Fletch. You know um, that there are rules and whether you liken it up, but you chose to go there, although you know that this is not the place for a troll. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how you think. That's what it is. Um, there's little tolerance for that in that time period. Uh, so this is on you, dude. So that's very stupid. But, you know... But it's, it is what it is. So um, they are uh, they saying goodbye to each other. And um, then Fletch is getting um, called to the war office. And um, he's standing before of these Albionese Air Command guys. And um, he says, well, there's some... some We heard some things about the pub. And uh, he says, uh-oh. Uh and um, he says, well, that, that's, that's all my fault. And I, I didn't mean to. He says, that's not important. I said, do you, how do you, how much do you know about trolls? And he says, what do you mean, sir? Um, 
So he says about that um, Rocky was working for his dad um, and his dad was a blacksmith and Rocky was a hard worker and he lives in the, in the barn um, because he was uh, the, the Prussians were after he, him and his family and he escaped. And uh, so when he and his sister were little, they talked about and talked to him and get to know him and about, you know, just the whole troll family thing ish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they get to know him. So, um, okay. So this guy says, um, well, we have a mission for you. There's an important undercover mission going in, in, in Prussia, lad. We have a man in place, but his contact man was captured. We must assume the original plans, the, I'm sorry, the operational plans, um, um, and those are not longer secure. We have formulated a new plan. We need to get them into Prussia. It's still a stupid name. <laughs> uh, but we need to someone who can work with trolls. And uh, so he's getting assigned, and that leads us to um, the now, you know, where he, so he's falling, and the Germans, who are Prussians, <laughs> um, you know, are um, onto him. They don't know exactly where he is, but they are falling in this, uh, you know, they doing a search for the woods. And then he, um, this is weird. So he, he whistles to his dragon. Um, I mean, I don't know, maybe if Germans are looking for you, you shouldn't, I don't know, whistle, you know, giving you away your location. And then... Um, he said something about that um, to um, to the dragon that um, that she has to take this one, and I thought, okay, well, this is probably some important stuff for the for the mission, right? And you know, some some diamonds or tags or amulets, and then, um, but no, that's not it. That's, uh, I believe these are just dog tags, and it seems that the Prussians are collecting them from captured um, enemies, I guess. Um, it says, the Prussians confiscated any, I cannot, sorry, I cannot read it very well. Eric killed chips, Ori killed chips, I've never heard of it. Uh, used them for their own airmen, okay? Uh, well, um, doesn't matter, but uh, so she is uh, flying off with the the dog tags, I believe. Maybe there is something different, but I think. And then uh, he's getting captured by the Germans because it says Hände hoch, which means um, put up your hands. Um, keine Bewegung, don't move. Keine Bewegung, sonst schießen wir. Keine Bewegung, otherwise we're going to shoot. And he says, du bist jetzt unsere Gefangene. Means now you are a prisoner, and that leads us to um, to issue number two. And uh, so, yeah, now that I have read it for the second time or, or third, if you you know calling you know along with this review, um, I, I, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm getting into. I'm yeah, yeah. So I got a couple of issues. So we're gonna find out if it's actually good. Um, so for now, let, let's leave it here, uh, guys. Let me know what you think about this whole. Aerosmith thing, do you hear about it? Do you read it? Do you want it or not? Uh, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.